to Stylish Niger YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. I really appreciate you guys a whole lot for subscribing to my channel and following me on all of my various and social media platforms. And those of you that have come to and Stylish Niger blog also, I appreciate you all. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew an off shoulder, uh, a trendy off shoulder. I'm going to name it because I really don't know what to name this uh, style, so I need to name it. I'm going to name it a trendy off shoulder tube yoke gown. So that's just uh, basically what I'm going to call it. And here with me, I have um, three yards of fabric. So you could see the picture, the picture up there. The dress is really fine. Yeah, someone actually sent it to me. So you could see here is my the fabric i'll use is three yards and then i'm going to be making use of um patterns for this but um, the patterns that i'm like this is my skirt pattern i'm going to use it for the down part so i'll put drop the link it's really easy and here is my bodies and sloper so this and um, body sloper that's what i'm going to use to create out the tube and it's a bust here so i'm going to so it's, it's good for you to watch this video to the end so you know how to create just from your your pattern you'll be able to create out a bust here and then we'll cut out the yoke also so i'm going to do that i'm going to do that i'll, I'll use my, my bodice and sloper for that and um, my registration also for my online classes are on for this um, month so if you're interested so you could see my um, numbers just scrolling through the screens just um send me a message on whatsapp and then i'll tell you what it entails for you to uh, register for the class so if you are new to this channel, if you have not subscribed, if this is a, your first time of coming across on Stylish Niger YouTube channel, you are highly and very welcome. And I guarantee you that once you stick to this channel, you are going to learn how to sew um, easily. And because I always try as much as possible to simplify my tutorials, to make them easy for you to understand. I really don't like those um, this uh, tutorial that gives someone headache. After watching them, you'll be as confused as ever. No, I try as much as I can with my with um, the help that God is giving to me to be able to pass out the knowledge. So let's just get started now. Okay, um, guys, like I said before, I'm making use of my body and sloper. So I've already drafted it out on my um, plain and um, pattern and um, paper. I'm going to be using this. I'm going to be turning this into a tube. Um, tube top with a yoke now so i just want you to watch and see how it is done so i'm just going to keep my original pattern on the side so this is the back and the front this is the back and the front i'll keep the back sloper also let's just work with the front so after the front i'm going to come back to the back of to the back of the the dress here is what we are going to do the first thing you are going to do for your yoke for the yoke you are going to determine how okay i'm just going to place it like you're going to determine how uh, this is my bust point this is my under bust and then this is my waistline so this is just like the basic uh, lines here you're going to determine how long or how high you actually want your yoke to be so for this, I'm going to be using, and uh, since it's an off shoulder, I'm going to be using my regular 5 inches drop. So it depends on you how deep you want yours to be. You could use 6, you could use 7, you could, you could even use um, 8 inches. I'm going to make use of, for the sake of this illustration, I'm going to make use of about uh, 6, 5.5 inches, which is okay. I'm just going to mark it like this. So from this point, I'm going to come... So this is just uh, the 5.5 inches point. It's just like a mark. I'm going to come to the neck line point like this. I'm trying to, what I'm trying basically trying to do is to create an a arc here. I'm going to come to the neck line point. So you see that from the neck line part, I'm going to be using the depth of seven inches. So you could make it deeper since you are going to be adding a yoke to it. So I will make use of seven inches. This is seven inches depth here. So this is seven inches depth here and then remember the from the center part the 5.5 inches that i did i'm going to come up by half an inch depends you can you could decide not to come up so you are just going to from this point now i'm just going to slope it like this to my armhole point so you see what i'm doing this is just 
it's just like a very uh, simple something to do all you have to put into concentration is the neckline point so I'm, I use 7 inches and then I just took it a little bit up so I'm going to uncurl it into my armhole point and then I'm going to start creating out the bust here so I've created out my my yoke so this part now I'm going to cut out I'm going to use as my yoke or the next thing now I'm going to create you are not going to use if you are not going to uh, if you don't want it to be a bust here from here you can just uh, continue you can just cut out the length of your of your tube so it depends on the length you can just cut it out and then you just continue but if you want it, this to be a bust here here's what you are going to do so this part now we're eliminating this part I'm going to cut it off this part we're going to use to create create out a yoke for this dress so the next thing now we're going to create out the bust here in creating out the bust here you're just going to use your regular um, pattern from this point I'm going to use my half of my bust span and measurement which is 4 inches my bust span is 8 oh, I'm stopping at my waist and line point here from this um, point, I'm going to connect with a straight ruler. So I'll take one inch to the right, one inch to the left. I'm going to do the same thing to my under bust and line. And then I'll leave the bust line. So I'll come to this point. So my uh, my I'm going to extend this line to my chest and part. That's the tube part. I'm going to extend it. So from this top part, I'm going to take one inch also to this part, and then this other side also. This is one inch, and then I'll take one inch to this side also. So now I'm going to connect all of our lines. So I'm, I'm bringing them to the bust line point. So this one inch is coming to this point like this. And then this one is coming to the bust line also. And then from the bust line point, I'm going to take this to my under bust line like this. And then I'll bring it down like this. So I'll do the same thing to this part like this also. From the bust line point, I'll bring it to my under bust line. And then from the under bust line, I'll bring it down. But what I'm going to do now, you see this part is already curved, so I'm trying to curve it out. Just try and curve it out properly so it won't be sharp. So you can see my tube is already, the tube is really easily out. What I'm, the only thing I'm going to do now, on my waistline part, I'm just going to extend, I'm going to extend uh, my measurement. I'm going to extend by 1.5 inches. And then I'll cut out. So here is my tube. But before I continue, I'm going to place this on the back, on my back and sloper. I'm just going to place it like this because I just want I want to get out the perfect and um, back part. So I'll, from this part now, what I'm going to do on this part, I'm going to uh, cut this out. For the back and then when it comes to the because for the back i'm going to use a regular and waist that so for the back i want the back i want it to be deeper the back yoke i want it to be deeper than the front yoke here's what i'm going to do i'm just going to take uh my tape like this i'm going to come this is my um, bust line this is my bust line which is 10 inches i don't want it to be as deep as that so i'm just going to come like uh, one inch up so i'm going to come to this point like this and then i'm going to create it out straight i'm going to create out a straight a straight and slant from this point like this this is just like a straight slant so i'll use i'm going to use my my ruler like this to create out this straight slant like this so here's what, what i'm going to cut out for the back so for the dart i'm going to use my regular waist dart Here's 
the yolk for the back and then here is the one that I'm going to use for the front pattern so I'll keep this on the side and then I'm going to cut this out right now you see guys, you see how easy it is to create out a, a tube from your bodice and slopper that's how simple and easy it is so if I'm not adding a yolk now I'm just going to continue like this because since I'm adding a yolk I'm going to use this for my front piece and then I'll use this for my back piece so I have my fabric here for the top part of my body so I'm, for the full um, fabric the full um, amount of material that I'm using is three yards of fabric because of the pleats on the down part of my skirt so I'm using three yards of fabric because I want it to be enough so I'm going to um, cut out the top part of my body right now I'll just place and then cut out so for the yoke I'm going to use a different um, fabric I'll use a tool for the yoke okay, I've put my fabric on fold now so I've placed my patterns I'm going to cut out right now okay I finished cutting out the front and um, my front piece I'll just keep it on the side and then for the skirt, like I said initially, I'm going to be making use of my uh, basic and skirt pattern also to cut this out. So most times this is why we uh, do patterns. So um, you make having uh, sewing patterns always make uh, your job easier. Instead of starting from scratch, you can just go back and then you re reuse your pattern. So I'm going to cut out the skirt now. After cutting out the skirt, I will continue before we come and create out the curve at the down part. So let me cut it out right now. Okay, guys, so you see, I finished I'm cutting out all of my pieces. So this is my yoke, my front yoke, and the back yoke. And then I have um, my back and um, pattern, and then the front piece. All I'm going to do now, I'm going to go and start um, putting them together. This is the skirt and part and my front skirt and my back skirt. So for the front and skirt and the back skirt, I'm going to, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to join the top bodies to my down body. So in joining this, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go and pad uh, my bust here just to give it a structure. And then I'm going to fix, I'm going to fix it like this from the top. I'm going to fix it down. So I have um, some videos on my channel on how to couple, couple a blouse, a bustier blouse like this. So I'm going to drop the link also so you can watch it and then you see how to couple this. I'm going to go and couple it and then I'll add the yoke to it. After coupling, I'm just going to put the yoke and then I'll add it to it. I will do that and then bring it back and show you before we continue uh, with the other part of the video. Okay, I finished and stitching the back yoke. So I've joined the back yoke to them, but I've not cut out the neckline. Most times I always like doing it this way. I've started stitching and my yoke before I come and cut out the neckline. It's always it always makes it very easy and good and neat for me. So I'll keep that. And then for the front piece, here's what you are going to do. I'm going to explain how you are going to do this. If you want to sew a tube like this for a beginner, I would advise you. After cutting out your bust here, you cut out your lining just the same way. Stitch your fabric and your lining together. And then you turn from the neckline point. So as you're going to take your lining, you place it here. And then you sew it and then turn. So after turning, you have, you know that the top part is clean and neat. And then you are going to place it on top of this point like this. You are just going to place it on top of your yoke like this. After placing on top of your yoke, you are going to stitch a clean stitch you're just going to stitch it on top like the picture that i showed you earlier on on the thumb it was a scuba that was actually used so it was not lined so it was not lined so what was done to it was that the the, the neckline that's this point like this was actually and you, you're just going to fold it neatly like this you fold along the, ne the neckline part and then you iron you could use a hemming gum to give it a clean iron so you have neat edges and then you, are, you place on top of your yoke like this and then you stitch just stitch it along the neckline to your armhole and point on top of your yoke so at the end of the day after stitching you are going to cut out the neckline so that's what i'm going to do now i'm going to stitch and then i'll cut out the neckline and then i'll join the skirt part to the top part so the skirt here's my skirt here's my skirt 
So I'm going to join the skirt, the front skirt. So after stitching, I'm going to join, I'm just going to hold on my dart lines. This here is my dart line. I'm going to hold my dart lines and then I'm going to join the down part to, to it. And then I'll bring it back to the to our so cutting table for us to come and cut out and create the arc on the down part that we're going to pleat. So I'm just going to do that right now. Okay guys, so you see I finished um, joining the front and the back like I told you. So it's now time for me to add the neckline. This is what I normally do. So for to add the neckline, you know I'm adding a, a regular and round neckline. So I'm going to use three and a half inches width. Just a regular way of measuring out neckline. And then I'm going to use about one, one um, or two inches depth. I'm just going to mark it like this. And then I'm going to mark it out like this. And then for the shoulders and slope, I'm going to measure out my shoulder measurement. Now my shoulder is 8 inches, uh, 14. This is 14. I'll add 1 inch as my allowance. And then from this point, I'm going to curve out my armhole. You understand? So I'm just going to curve in the armhole like this. And then I'll cut out the neckline and cut out this part. So the back and the front, I'm going to cut the neckline. Let them be the same. So I'll cut both of them together. So after cutting it out, I'm just going to cut it like this now. Cut out the armhole like this. You see, it's making sense now. And then I'll cut out the neckline. So for the neckline, I'm going to use, I'm just going to use the regular um, bias binding just to turn out the neckline. So at the end of the day, this was what I was talking about. At the end of the day, I'm going to use applique to cover up this whole part. So it's, it's going to give it that neatness. So, but if I was going to turn it with a lining, I'm not going to stitch it on top like this. I'm going to stitch it inside. I'll do that in on another upcoming video. So, if you know you want me to do it, just drop it in the comment section for me to know. Okay. So, now we're done with this. The next thing is for me to attach my skirt to my gown. So, I'm going to attach it and then bring it back to the table. Okay, uh, welcome back guys. So you see I finished um, joining, um, coupling my dress. So you see the side, here is the back. I finished joining them. Now the next thing we're going to do now, we're going to try and create that arc that is at the down part of our, of our gown. Oh, with creating this, we're going to, because if you see from the picture that I showed you, it was done on both the back and the front. So we're going to do it on both the back and the front. So here is what we are going to do. We are going to fold our fabric like this. So for the height of your own, you could decide to to use to mark it how however high you actually want yours to be. You could um, decide to do it that way. So now we are going to um, continue now. I am just going to come to this edge, come to this edge and part of my of my. I no, am just going to bring it closer so you'll be able to capture it. The camera will be able to capture it rather. So from this and down part, I'm going to mark and two inches here. This is two inches. From this part, you are just going to put your artistic skills to work here. So I'm going to try to create out a arc that is going to come like this. So from this point, I'm going to measure this point. What I am going to use here, the height that I'm going to use here is going to be seven inches. But at the end of the day, it's going to be six because you know we'll use uh, one inch from this part to join. So from this point, now I'm just going to try to create a curve like this. So I'm just using my free hand first and then I'll blend it up with my curve. So I'm just creating it like this. So, so you could see what I have. So this is just like an, an S facing backwards. So I'm, I'm creating literally like an S like this just to be able to get and that curve on it so now i can now decide to to curve it out properly with my pattern curve like this this also you could decide to do it on your pattern paper before you continue but i chose to do it on my fabric so i'm going to cut it out now and then we're going to cut and the fabric that we're going to use for the down part that we're going to pleat so you know what I'm using, making use of for this class, I'm sorry, I forgot to explain initially. I'm making use of normal and cutting and fabric, but the picture that was that I showed you earlier, it was actually a scuba that was used. So you could see it, it is really bulky, but mine is just a normal and cutting fabric. So you could use any fabric of your choice to do this. So you just cut outside. 
So at the end of the day, so you see what we have, it is looking so beautiful, just like what we have on the picture. And then here's the front piece. So, and the next thing we're going to do in cutting out and the down part, you could decide to do this in two ways. You could decide to cut it as a flare, or you could decide to just use a straight, um, just like a straight um, cut, rather, to do this. So I think I'm going to make use of a straight cut. I'm going to make use of a straight cut. So for this, this straight cut that I'm going to use, you are going to determine how full you want, you want it to be. So mine now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to measure, and then you are going to determine the length. You understand the length of uh, how much you are going to pleat. All this you are going to put into consideration because I actually use the pattern. So when you are sewing with a pattern, all of your measurements, you make sure that you have already incorporated them into your pattern before cutting. So that's just the beauty of um, sewing with a pattern. With that, you won't, you won't waste your fabric. You know all of your measurements accurately. So I used my body sloper. So that was why I was telling you that I'm going to drop the link for you to learn how to do your own body sloper. With that, you'll be able to sew any of your dresses with that your body sloper and you get your measurement accurately, well and right. So I used mine. So um, what I'm going to do now for the full and length of my gown. The full length of my gown is actually 39 inches. So I'm going to add one inch. It's going to give me 40 inches. So I already have... For this um, part, I already have 34 inches. So what I'm going to cut out now, I'm going to cut out about 6 inches. That's the width I'm going to cut out now. It's going to be 6 inches. That's what I'm going to cut out. That's the length. I'm going to cut out 6 inches. I'll add 1 inch to it for allowance. So how full you want it to be? You are going to and determine that. So mine, I'm just going to show you what me I'm using. So you'll be able to make use of it. The length that I'm going to use. That's the width, sorry. So this is a 36, which is like one yard. And then this is a 24 inches and it is on fold, you understand? So I just want you to get it uh, straight and get it right. So I use that. So at the end of the day, I'm just going to mark it. Let me just tell you the straight inches that I use. Okay, so at the end of the day, everything that I use is um, 59 inches. Okay, 60 inches. So this is 60 inches. So this is 60 inches. And you've noticed that my fabric is on four. That's 60 plus 60, which is 120 inches. So I'm trying to, and then you measure out the length of what I want. So I'm going to cut it out now. And then I'll join it on the side, side. So you see what I have now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to join this on the side. I'll join it. After joining it on the side, I'm going to pleat it round here. I'm just going to take my. Um, you could choose to start stitching from to start um, pleating. So I'm going to start pleating it from the back. I'm just going to open up the back a little bit, and then I'm going to pleat it round like this. I'm just going to pleat it. Just do your pleat. Do any pleat of your choice. If you know um, this part, you could. So I'm, I'm going to reduce it a bit so I will not have much problem. This arc, I'm just going to level it a little bit more. So when I'm pleating, it won't give me much problem. So level it a little bit. So with this now, it is okay. I'm just going to pleat it round. And so I, I'm going to do that and then I'll bring it back and show you. Okay, guys, so you could see and uh, what we have. So I'm so happy the down part actually came out so beautifully well. So you could see our arc. I hope my camera captures that. So you could see our arc. It came out perfectly well. So like I kept saying, if you want to sew this and dress, you could make use of a bulkier and fabric. If you are going to use an Ankara, you can decide to line it. It will come out beautifully well. So you see what we have. And then here is the top part. So all I'm going to do now, I'm going to finish up on the neckline and then the, for the sleeve, so you see what was actually done for the sleeve. So I'm just going to explain to you what was done for the sleeve. So um, just, I, I did one already. So you see what I have here. So I'm going to show you how to actually do this for this second sleeve. You're just going to cut out a strap of fabric. Remember, and you know my um, round armhole. It's actually 10 inches so what i have here is about 18 inches 
because why 18 inches you could do 20 inches because i'm going to put an elastic which is going to ruffle like what i have here which is going to ruffle it up all off for me and then i stitch what i have here is um, i cut actually cut out five inches so you when you fold it and i folded it into two and just ran a stitch and here's what i'm going to do now i'm going to cut out um about eight inches of elastic you could cut out 10 inches but i'm going to pull it so at the end of it i'll cut away the remaining excess i would advise this is just the elastic that i have available now that's why i'm making use of it you make use of the one a meter elastic so that would, you know this is half inch one inch and one meter sorry sorry one inch elastic rather sorry about that one inch uh, elastic so that's the bigger one make use of it you have a better result so i'm just going to take this right now i'll place it in like this so i've placed it inside like this it's going to be here like this i'm just going to take it to my i'll place it at the center i'm going to take it to my machine and then i'll run a stitch here and then after running a stitch, that was why I was telling you to um, put an elastic that will be a little bit long that you'll be able to pull out. And then I'm going to run a stitch. As I'm running the stitch, I'm going to be pulling it out from the other side. So that was why I was saying use uh, like 10 inch. You could do 12 inches. So you'll be able to pull it out. You could even decide to just do this. I think I'm going to do it that way. So you see what I have. So with this, it's going to be easier for me to to stitch. I'm just going to take it like this, and then I'll place it on my machine, and then I'm going to run a stitch. I'm going to secure it here, and then I'm, I'll start pulling it. As I'm pulling it, I'll just stitch along the line. So I'm going to do it now for you to see. So after that, I'm just going to attach it. So I'll show you how to attach it. So after that, I'm going to just attach it like this. On the armhole part just on this edge so you know the dress actually has an armhole I'm just going to attach it from one end like this using my round sleeve and measurement I'm just going to attach it so at the end of it is going to be it's going to be like this I'll just attach it using my round armhole measurement you could decide to reduce by one inch because of the elastic so instead of me using 10 I'll use um eight inches so at the end of the day it's just going to fit perfectly in here and then you are you are going to create a bow so you could create any bow you could use anything of your choice just to create a bow like a bow and then just attach to this part that's just like basically what was done so i'm going to finish it all up now i'll show you how to stitch this and then i'll put it on my mannequin for you to see the final look of our gown Then make sure you are stitching on top of the elastic so you see it's creating it already so at the end of the day so you see you see our um, strap so i'm going to finish it off now and then okay guys so you could see this is the final look of our trendy uh off shoulder tube and gown so i'm so happy it came out um beautifully well so you could see the size so you could see the arc so if you want it higher you can decide to just the way i showed you how to do it you can decide to push it up more and then this is the sleeve so after attaching and uh, the ruffled part that we made with the elastic so i just made a bow and just used a hand and stitch to stitch it so you could decide to do a bow you can decide to just leave it or you could decide to even leave it as a sleeveless or whatever way you choose to have your sleeve on it so guys I have now come to the end of this uh, illustration for today. If you find it helpful, please, I would appreciate if you hit on the like button. If you have any questions, you could drop your questions on the comment section. So I'll do well to answer you once I come up. So thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video. God bless you.